Hello world, welcome to the fifth video in my series where as a beginner I try to build my own Jarvis-like computer program using Python. In this video, I'm going to recreate one of my favorite YouTubers, Sentdex, S-E-N-T-D-E-X, his Python for Finance series that he created in 2017. So I've tried to implement one of his very first videos uh, over two years later, so I'm having to reprogram and use correct libraries and processes, and I wanted to show that off. So I added my voice function that I created myself and an input option where I can put in any stock symbol that Yahoo Finance tracks. So that's quite different than what you'll see with the Sentdex video. So before we go into the code, let's check it out. What stock symbol would you like to look at? Okay, so we're going to look at Tesla. So right now I have to put in the actual stock symbol. That's going to be quite different when I voice activate this and I say Tesla. It's going to have to know to the stock symbol of TSLA. TSLA. And there we go. We have a 10 year view of Tesla's stock price. And this is using a library called matplotlib and pandas data reader. So, and then you can zoom in using a zoom in tool. And you can see the stock price data. So, if we run this again, what stock symbol would you like to look at? Let's look at Ford. Okay, and it put up Ford's stock data. So you can see that's how this program works. So let's take a look at the code. Again, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, this is not a tutorial series. This is just me explaining what I've done. So first you have to import date time because we use time in this. Then you have to import pandas and that's a library that you can use using pip install pandas. However, if you look at 2017 videos or anybody who's tried to copy his videos, um, the newest version of pandas is not compatible with this code. So you can simply use pip install a lower version of pandas using this code that I've highlighted. Okay, and then you import data reader Again, if you saw another older tutorial, you'll see import pandas underscore data reader dot data. So take off the da dot data and this works. Then we import matplotlib. We import a style. And then this is my own library where it uses the voice activation. Okay. Then I created two different functions. So if you watch other tutorials, it's all in one function. And so um, it accepts the argument of a stock symbol that we type in. I put 2007, July, or August to today. And then we get a stock symbol that you entered, the user. And then we write it to an Excel file. Then the next one uses this style called ggplot. I have not used any other style yet, so I have no opinion on what's the best one to use. Then we read from that file the stock symbol. This gives the dates as headers. And then I want to look at the adjusted close. You can open up that Excel file and look at all the columns to see what options you have. Then you plot it, then you show it. And then those are the two functions. So then I ask, what stock symbol would you like to look at? You input that in, which you saw. Then you get the stock data. Then you show the stock data. So here's the code right here. And so that's just very small. Doesn't do a lot. I know you can just go to Yahoo if you wanted to, but this is what I'm doing from my central program. And so this is just the beginning of the finance series. I want to do a lot more. And I've always wanted to explore how to use machine learning with algorithmic trading strategies. It's always been an interest of me. There's a book called Quants that, if you've ever read that, talks about 
that there are so many quant mute, um, funds out there, and now there's only a couple and what they did to survive. So in the next video, though, we'll deviate from finance, and I want to show off some of the updates I made to my Twitter automation. I've done quite a bit since our previous video. But this is really exciting for me because I also run a website called the Financial Genome Project, and you can find that at www.financialgenomeproject.net. The link will be in the description. And my dream is to have some sort of computer program or user interface where me and other people can react with the economy in real time. And it'll help people make the best financial decisions. If you've read behavioral economics, you know we are not rational people, right? There's gambler's paradox. There's a bunch of things working against us. So uh, it's famously written in Thinking Fast and Slow. I really believe algorithmic trading strategies and the machine learning and deep learning and AI can help at least normalize some of the more irrational things that we do. So this is just the first step towards my dream. So I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then share with your friends. Bye, world.